स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शोभा बंसीवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज भी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द क्रिटिकल एप्रिशिएशन ऑफ द पोईम ओ टू ऑटम बाई जॉन किड्स दिस पोईम वॉज रिटर्न इन सेप्टेंबर एटीन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन एंड दिस पोईम एक्सप्रेस इज किड्स लव ऑफ नेचर इन दिस पोईम ही डिस्क्राइब्स द सीजन ऑफ ऑटम Uh, there are uh, this poem. Uh, there is a faultless construction of this poem. In this poem, uh, there are three stanzas. Each stanza uh, comprises of uh, eleven lines, and uh, in each stanza, uh, Keats describes uh, a different aspect of the uh, season of autumn. Uh, just. Uh, for an example, in the first exam, uh, first stanza, he describes the bounty of the season, the fruits of the autumn season. In the second stanza, he uh, describes uh, the occupations of the season. In in this stanza, he personifies the season of autumn as a winnower, a gleaner, a reaper, and a cider presser. Uh, in the last stanza, he describes the songs of the autumn season of uh, this poem uh, this poem has a sensuous quality uh, edge kids was a romantic poet uh, his poetry has uh, all the characteristics of a uh, romantic poetry such as sensuousness pictorial quality and love of nature etc in this poem uh, in the first stanza uh, we uh, he describes the fruits of the season such as um, apple vines gourds uh, uh, with sweet kernels in them them and uh, and uh, honey all these um, all these fruits Uh, appeal to our sense of taste uh, in the second in this stanza he um, he describes various uh, pictures of sight sights of nature which appeals to our eyes and in the uh, last stanza he describes the songs of the season which appeals to our sense of ear a uh, sense of ear sense of hearing uh, For an example, um, he uh, says that uh, in the last stanza he describes the songs of the season such as a uh, twittering of swallows, chirping of um, crickets, and uh, a whistling of robin redbreast, and uh, bleating of lambs. Uh, all these appeal to our sense of hearing so uh, the whole of poem is uh, full of sensuousness the other quality of this uh, other characteristic of this poem is uh, its pictorial quality or its imagery in this poem uh, he uh, presents picture after picture before our eyes uh, for an example he says that uh, all the branches of uh, apple trees uh, um bend towards the ground because of the load of apples and uh, there are uh, vine uh, the the roots uh, the root the thatched the cottages who, whose roots are thatched um are go overgrown with vines the vines of grapes means the the roots are thatched with vines and um uh, in this uh, poem he describes the season of autumn as a uh, a winnower he personifies the season, uh, season of autumn as winnower who is sitting carelessly on the uh, granary uh, floor in the field and uh, whose hair are lifted by the air 
and uh, he, and he personifies autumn season as a, a reaper who cuts um, uh, crops but uh, but goes to sleep due to uh, intoxication of uh, fumes of poppies and uh, and uh, her works remains to be undone uh, and he personifies autumn season as a gleaner who go goes towards her home uh, carrying a load of uh, crops which have been cut uh, on her hand um, and uh, and uh, as a uh, cider pacer who is watching intently um, uh, the drops which are coming outside of cider press, uh, in which he is making, she is making the juice of uh, apples. So uh, this poem has pictorial quality. We see picture after picture in this poem, and uh, as Kiss was a poet of uh, romantic age, so uh, he loved nature and he described nature in his poems. And this poem, uh, the autumn, autumn uh, which is a season. Uh, is full of um, nature pictures. Uh, there is a um, uh, here we see that uh, Keats loves the common creatures of nature like uh, lambs, grasshoppers, um, robin redbreast, swallows, all these. Um, etc in uh, keats love of nature has a greek quality also because greek people uh, personified objects of nature in the same way keats also personifies uh, objects of nature as uh, he presents them as human beings and uh, Another quality of this poem, other another characteristic of this poem is that it is uh, it has objectivity. Uh, nowhere in this poem, Keats expresses his own emotions, his um, his 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 own feelings. He keeps himself also outside of the picture. He only describes the season, the season of autumn. Uh, there there are no uh, philosophy, no autobiographical elements. Uh, in this poem, uh, this poem has felicity of expression or felicity of diction. Um, he uses many epithets like um, hilly born, um, barred clouds, um, season of uh, mist and mellow fruit, fruit, fruitfulness, and uh, etc. So uh, this poem, uh, which was written in September 1819, uh, it is uh, a description of the season of autumn. It shows Keats' love of nature, and uh, it shows his uh, his characteristics as a poet, such as um, his sensuousness, his love of nature, his pictorial quality, uh, and the felicity of expression. Thank you.